And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soul Thai food. Now this deck, I do think is good enough for ranked. We would have been playing it in ranked, but today's the last day for um, for ranked, and uh, we had to finish in the top 1200, and so we're at number 458 right now. So we're just going to end that. So we're going to be playing through a league with the deck instead, but. The reason why I put this deck together is yesterday we were talking about how Thassa works really well with both Gilded Goose, making Gilded Goose like a, a mana creature every single turn. You can, you know, you can use it, use your food, and then flicker your goose, so you have mana for the next turn. And of course, it works really well with Wicked Wolf also. And so I kind of wanted to put together a food deck with Thassa, you know, using uh, Gilded, you know, flickering Gilded Goose and Wicked Wolf. And so, of course, that that kind of brings us to the Soul Tie color combination because you really should be playing Cauldron Familiar also in a food deck. And, you know, Cauldron Familiar, you can flicker with Asa also. Um, and so then from there, I wanted to play a lot of other things to flicker with Asa. And so I went, you know, going with Risen Reef since we're in the Soul Tie color. So we're going, we have a little bit of an elemental theme with Risen Reef. We got a couple Leafkin Druids instead of Paradise Druid because of Risen Reef. And then, you know, we got a couple Cavaliers here. We got a, a Cavalier of Night and a Yurok, um, some other Elementals. Because, you know, Yurok can just double up all this stuff. You know, double up your Cauldron Familiar triggers, gain two life, deal two for each one. Um, and so on. And plus, these are all permanents for Trail of Crumbs. So, like, that's also really nice. You know, Trail of Crumbs um, gets you permanents. Uh, you know, you can go find your Thassa or find, you know, like, whatever else with it. Like, these are, you know, everything in here is permanents. Um you know, and then we have Agent of Treachery at the top end because of how awesome that card is. And then Agent of Treachery with Thassa. We got that combo. Agent of Treachery with Yurok. Um, yeah, this is just kind of kind of putting everything together. Um, and uh, seeing how it works. We got 25 lands. And uh, sideboard. Besides Return to Nature, as you can see, I really wanted to stick with permanence for trail of crumbs we got like destiny spinner to keep stuff from being countered we got more removal with some murderous riders um ashiok against control where we can attack their uh great attack their library <clears throat> massacre girl and then i don't i don't know kind of like a, just a couple planeswalkers at the top end i don't know just threw a, an ashiok and a liliana in there and some voracious hydras to do some more fighting so yeah let's let's uh let's give this a try i mean this kind of just an experiment but i think this this looks really strong on paper we'll see how it really plays out in the games so here we go <laughs> can we just play 20 ovens and 20 cats be nice 20 lands 20 ovens 20 cats <laughs> yeah, you're a sub now, Nightlife. Alright, so we have Goose ramp into turn two Risen Reef. If we want. Or we can go turn two Uro. Put the third land into play, so then we have Risen Reef. And don't need to keep shocking. Looks like we got a mirror match with those sleeves. The goose with the attitude. What if this really is just a complete mirror match? <laughs> That'd be crazy. Could be. It could be. Rats. Wanted to hit a land drop, of course. Hmm. 
Now I don't get to Wicked Wolf <clears throat> to kill Risen Reef. Because we didn't hit that land. Soul has always been your favorite color combination. Really want to see this deck work. And I, I think it could. I think this could, could do some good work. This is going to be a tough matchup with the, you know, the um, Simic deck that's probably going to be going bigger. But we'll see how, we, you know, a Thassa would be really nice to start flickering Wicked Wolf. That's a good hand, though, with the double reef. All right, well, we got one, one reef down. And there's Thassa. Start slowly killing all their stuff every turn. Yeah, I'm sure we'll play a Mardu enchantment deck at some point. Yeah, we played a lot of Mardu enchantment decks last format. I'm sure we'll keep doing that. I mean, you know I me, mean? I like to play everything. I don't have any like plans for a Mardu enchantment deck right now. But a lot of good stuff with a lot of good enchantments in the Mardu color combination. Guess we gotta click OK to everything because we could sack the food to the wolf or sack the food to the goose. That was that was it for their turn. That's a good good sign for us that they didn't do anything else. Yeah, that'll be a good one, Snake Spur. I'm looking forward to it. Thassa can keep Cavalier of Thorns tapped down. Mr. Gregorius. Thanks for the resub. So do I want to... Hmm. What am I going to flicker with Thassa? Is it going to be Risen Reef? Or kill their Risen Reef?
I, mean, I guess it would be my Leaf Kindred. Do I want to do my Leaf Kindred or Wolf kill their Reef? We do Wolf kill their Reef because then it also slows down these Leaf Kindreds a little bit. Only like they're only adding one mana right now. All right, that gets our storm count up to 14 with Maester Gregorius. That eighth month, 3 7. Uh, what do you think about the new Maze of Ith land? I like it. Yeah, I like it. It does cost a lot to activate, but I think it's pretty free for. Well, I'm glad I killed the reef. But am I dead? Looks like I'm dead. Yep. Finale is pretty busted. Does Ashiok shut down Finale? Is that a thing? Yeah, usually, usually Simic is just trying to go through like tons and tons of cards, and so that's why I, I think I want to attack their uh, library and try to remove a lot of cards. Hmm. Need to be able to kill Large Crisis or Nissa for Murderous Rider. Maybe I don't want Masker Girl. I don't know. I'm just taking out Call of Familiar because I gotta take out something. All right, thanks, Burr. Have a good one. So a uh, shock in for turn two, Leafkin. Be able to play the Ashiok on three. Cast that thing. Behold. Got rid of two Uros. My dreams and got rid of a Fable Passage. That's Night. that's the worst card for me to hit is Fable Passage. I want them to draw and have Fable Passage in hand. The, so that's the worst card for me to minus. Hmm. 
Would have liked the Black Source to kill the Risen Reef, of course, but oh well. Maybe that we need to kill Anessa anyway. If we find like a Risen Reef, have like Risen Reef with Thassa, like, you know, we could do some crazy stuff too. No, I don't know whenever the the next store update's gonna be. I don't know. If anybody in chat knows, I'd be interested too, but no, I don't know. Goes Nissa's. I just don't have the mana to play Thassa and hold up Murderous Rider. One more land, like if we draw a land this next time we can. But I think I want to hold up the Murderous Rider. You know, if they play another Elemental, I'll kill the Risen Reef. Thass is not doing it a ton for us right now. All right, so we got rid of two Uros, two Cavalier Thorns. They have another Anissa. Yeah, get rid of that end race forerunners. Good. Yeah, we're also good against the Scry lands, yep. Because, yeah, if they want to Scry, if they like their card, they want to keep it on top. We were getting rid of it anyway. We've gone halfway through their library. They're at 30 cards. That was not a good Ashiok one. I return where you slumber. That was not a good last four cards to get. Yeah, I just like getting Risen Reef out of there more than getting Cavalier Thorns out of there. I mean, I, I could have gotten rid of Cavalier Thorns as well, but then they draw that extra card. And I guess I'm not, I guess, yeah, I just wanted to get Risen Reef out. Speaking of Risen Reef, that's like a card that we would love to draw. We would get a whole lot of cards if we draw that. Even a Cauldron Familiar would be draining them for six a turn right now. Because, like, 
like Cauldron Familiar, you know, like we play it, we drain them for two. Okay, so they named Oven, but I was going to say then we, you know, we drain it for two, then we flicker the Cauldron Familiar with that, so drain it for two more. You know, we sack it to Oven, bring it back, drain them two more. You know, an oven a Thassa, you know, like this this setup, Cauldron Familiar was six a turn. Now it's now it's four a turn, which is still a lot. They have like 30 cards in their library. There's 19 cards. Their Thass is going to end this, though, tapping down my blockers. Just didn't have any card advantage. <laughs> yeah. My Yurok and my Thass has done absolutely nothing. <laughs> Gosh, I'm, I'm just moving on. Just plus up, attack, tap stuff, attack. Which I, you know, like I didn't bring in that masker girl, and so without having the masker girl, I, I really didn't have a chance. I should have brought in that masker girl. Another awkward one. I think I'm keeping it though. A tough one. Don't think it does enough. What? My opponent must have had to go. Or, I mean. I know normally wouldn't count that as a win, but of course that counts as a win in the in the events. Uh, 
but that that name Ross the biggest boss that's that's somebody who's in in chat all the time so maybe that's just somebody maybe they don't want to play against me on on uh, stream you know like maybe they just want to give me a win that's possible I don't know that is somebody who's in chat all the time and is a, a sub to the channel Okay, you just played him, Mirror Rakdos. Is he in here now? No, he's not in here right now. No, not not really, Escorio. No, not really. I just kind of do my own thing. Like um, um, Tom Ross streams. He's he's a really good friend. Um, he usually streams like Pioneer and stuff like that. MTG Nerd Girl. Another streamer I like. All right, we're just cracking this food for some extra cards. Hmm. So I'm gonna choose it so I don't shuffle because I already know I have like that land down at the bottom. You know, so I have another land down at the bottom that I don't want. The other Risen Reef. Quite strong. Castle of Antris with Reclamation, quite strong. Uh, what... What team or deck there? Be, be your guard, which one? Uh, we finished 2-0 oh with the, the ramp deck. We just played two rounds. They're they're both they're really long matches. It was like an hour twenty minutes for the two matches, but uh, 
we just played the two rounds. Um, because then our, our ranking was up like pretty high where we just wanted to keep the ranking there for the rest of the day. Counter, no counter, no counter. Give me that. No bounce, no bounce, no bounce. Boo. Ah, uh, yeah, the team I ran from earlier. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I really like that deck. I, uh, so is it worth the wild cards? I mean, it's, it's difficult for me to tell, you know, tell other people to, you know, it's kind of a decision you have to make for yourself, I guess, but, um, cause you know, it's, it's hard for, you know, cause that's a situation that's different for everybody. Yeah, I could have grabbed Castle. He's going for the highest upside play of getting rid of Reclamation on their side. You know, is the risky play against Brazen Borrower, but as the so, like I said, the highest upside. More ovens. <laughs> yeah, it is a strong deck. Yeah, it's, it is skill intensive, plays really long games, for sure. It's not as easy as to play as it just kind of looks on the surface. Yeah, when when is the 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 drafts coming really soon, right? Like being able to draft um the new set. Tomorrow. And 
this pretty soon. <laughs> Can't stop eating pizza. It's difficult. Pizza's good. This is gonna be a long match. Or at least, you know, like we're they're at twenty three minutes, I'm at twenty five. Sir? I'm just going to be sacking the Gilded Goose to be able to bring back Cauldron Familiar. Boo. Hey, no, it's a, it's okay, Icarus. You don't have to worry about. Uh, don't have to worry about that. All good. Okay. Sorry, Goose. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Agent Thassa is very powerful, um, but yeah, it's it's tough to it's tough to pull off, you know. Like other you know other people are doing stuff as well. Yeah, it's not just solitaire. Yeah, they just get, they just spend, you know, like when you look at like how much mana we spent, how much mana they've spent, you know, like they've just spent a lot more mana. That's that's like what I'm trying to do with the team at Ramtech. But yeah, I mean, Wilderness Reclamation is it's just not a it's not a fair card. That's that's a good thing to be doing is playing something that's not fair. Uh. 
All right, so we want Destiny Spinner. Keep them from uh, countering stuff. Let's get these Return to Natures in here. Mm. So Agent of Treachery, not as good against Brazen Borrower, but I can I can focus on their land as well. Don't think I want I don't really want Murderous Rider or Uru or Cavalier of Night. And then Leaf can Druid. Okay. You didn't realize you could do it. Yeah, yeah. You float mana and then untap your lands with Roland's Reclamation, and then. Um, I don't know. I like Thassa. Yeah, Destiny Spinner is a pretty great card. We saw how, like, you know, we got we had tons and tons of cards countered in that game. Looks like a pretty strong hand for them. Turn one Grazer, turn two Grow Spiral. They got four mana already on turn two. It's a strong hand. I don't have any card advantage things. I <clears throat> just got this little cat. So I'm grabbing a Swamp, even though we need another, um, we would need another Forest for Wicked Wolf. I'm grabbing Swamp so we can activate Castle Lock Twain and draw another card. This is gonna be difficult. I didn't really I didn't realize they were gonna have Nissa and I took out my planeswalker removal. I got Agent Treachery, that's about it. I don't have a sweeper or anything either. I don't have you know like a massacre girl. And, um, so yeah, I don't really see us winning this. Did not plan against Nissa. But if we can so what we're two mana away from Agent Treachery, so need to hit land drops first and foremost.
I'm making a 3-3, three, three, so I can't just keep attacking with Krasis. But Kroki's list has uh, two Nissas. Yeah, I, I'm just not familiar with his list, but I, I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if that's that's what my opponent's playing. I'm just not not familiar with it. I guess I I guess I should be. Yeah, yeah, this team rec yeah, this team reclamation deck does look really good. It does. I'm not, I'm not happy about it. I mean, y'all, y'all just know I don't like the card willingness reclamation at all. that land next turn. I need an agent of treachery, this Nyssa, and then I can ult the Nyssa and go put all my forests into play. Wilderness Reclamation was from Ravnica Allegiance. Well, they're going to be able to ultimate the Nissa now. So that's probably game. Yeah, I, mean, I don't really know how I'm right now. I, mean, I guess I can attack Nessa with the 3 3, but they have the Grazer. So let's see, I'd have to kill Grazer with Wicked Wolf. can't play goose and wolf it's unfortunate Their attack on the ground isn't spectacular because of Wicked Wolf.
You know, we, we block two creatures, wolf and cauldron familiar, and eat a land. Yeah, I need land, and I need my opponent to just have nothing but lands also, because I can't really beat much else. Nature's true power. Here's those lands we needed. Now we know we definitely have the, the mana for Agent of Treachery. didn't tick up Nyssa. They're making an all-out attack and it did not tick up Nyssa. I can sack two food, you know, like, I can basically I can kill the Uro if I want. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, they did not tick up Nissa. So certainly expecting an agent of treachery.
Oh, that, that lets them cast Uro. I would love to draw Thassa. That's the card I want to draw. Start flickering Agent of Treachery. I always want to keep the cauldron familiar in the graveyard like this because like whenever you untap because you could draw um trailer crumbs and you want the cauldron familiar in your graveyard so you can just immediately bring it back it's not like we're not attacking with it anyway but obviously at end step we want to get as many activations as we can with it first and so now we just leave it in the graveyard I don't know anything about any of the cards. There is said trailer crumbs. Another Risen Reef. More Risen Reef. More cards. Behold, nature's true power. More cards. That's a... I'm at twelve fifty eight, they're at thirteen seventeen. And they could have they could have drawn expansion explosion that kills me. Looks like they did. So they're saying good game. Hey, good job, Jopsy. Way to go, made it to Diamond. Good job. Aw, oh, thanks. Hex. Good game. Almost turn the corner, but not quite. Wilderness Reclamation is still not a fair magic card. 
All right, so there's Soul Thai food. Uh, disappointed for sure how we went one and two, but really we went zero oh and two. You know, like the that win, you know, we didn't actually play a match, so we really went zero oh and two with the deck. So I'm, you know, real disappointed with that. I thought we were going to do good with it. Um, it seemed kind of slow. It was hard for us to get a lot of mana in play compared to my opponents. You know, both both opponents that we we lost to, you know, Simic Ramp and then the Team of Reclamation. Both of those decks are just getting so much mana, and they just went over the top of us. Um, I'm not sure how to solve that problem off the top of my head. Um, additional Urox could speed it up. Well. Like, you know, like, we, we lost that other game because we just had Yurok and Thassa, and we had nothing to flicker with them the whole time. And, you know, like, we just played it, you know, the whole game against Simic, like, where we had nothing <laughs> to flicker with Thassa and Yurok. No ETP creatures or nothing. So, yeah, I don't know. Um... So yeah, that's something to think about. Uh, if, you know, those of y'all watching on YouTube, if you have suggestions on, on how to beat... Uh, if you have, if you've been having success against like team or reclamation, let me know what you're doing. But then just like with this kind of deck, how do you think you would, so two questions, one, um, how do you think that this deck, what could you do against Simic ramp and team or reclamation? But then two, just if you're, if you're, uh, playing, you know, whatever deck that you're playing these days, if you're doing good against team or reclamation, let me know, let me know what you're playing. That is a deck. So we, we played against it twice today. We lost both times. I need to be more familiar with that deck playing against it. But yeah. It's, um, so yeah, besides that, uh, I think that there's a lot of good stuff going on with this deck. And I think, I think this deck has a lot of really strong attributes to it, but that it could be the weakness is people going way over the top with, you know, Hydro Crisis ramp decks and, you know, expansion explosion for millions. Like that, we don't, you know, I don't have a good game plan against. Um, so that's that's the next thing to do. Figure out what the game plan is for the the big mana decks. All right, but there we go. There's Soul Thai food. All right, so uh, those y'all watching on YouTube, uh, also hit that like button. And I said, like I said, hope you you leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.